So, you wanna make a cartoon ocean? Well, take a real ocean, then put an InstaFace filter on it, and then you got yourself a cartoon ocean. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.81, Eevee. Once again, taking a look at how to make a cartoon ocean. I'm gonna mix a couple things we've done together, uh, a couple things we've done together, today, together. That makes sense, right? So. Uh, we're going to delete on default cube, and then hit shift A, we're going to add in a plane, right there. Hit S to scale that bad boy up, and now what we're going to do is we're going to use a middle mouse button to pan around here. So, middle mouse button, just pan around the scene. I'm going to grab this lamp, this lampito, that's lamp in Spanish. Uh, I'm going to go to the lamp tab here, and, and, and check sun instead of point. Now, this strength is going to be way too high, so we're going to bump that down to 10, and that's probably still going to be too much, so I'm going to put it down on 3 for now. Um, we'll bump that up later on. I'm going to uncheck shadow because we don't need shadows where we're going. I'm going to hit Alt-R to clear the rotation. Alt-R. And then Alt-G to clear the location. Then to move it up so it's not like down there. I'm going to hit G. X, uh, sorry, GZ to move it on the Z axis upwards like that. Now it's facing straight down, which is fine, so we'll fix that later on. With our plane selected right here, I'm going to go ahead and split our window into two by dragging over here from the uh, left hand side uh, in the top right, left hand corner. And then just changing this little button right here to the shader editor, hitting N to get rid of that panel on the side, the N button. Uh, split that open a little bit more. Alright, so with our plane selected, I'm going to hit this little drop down box and select material because now we're going to be using some good materials, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go to the rendered shading uh, viewport shading right here by hitting the little button right there. Now you can see we have a plane here, uh, but it's not looking cartoony yet. So, uh, it's not looking like an ocean yet either. So, we're going to fix that. I'm going to turn my overlays off. That little button right there. Um, I'm going to get rid of the principal BSDF shader because we don't need that. Delete. Uh, shift A, and we're going to search for a shader to RGB node right there. So shift A, search, and we're going to look for a diffuse node, boom, and then we're going to get shift A, and we're going to search for a color ramp node right there. We're going to grab all of these bad boys, and we're going to plug them up like, uh, like this. So we're going to plug the shader to RGB's color into the color ramp, oh, into the color ramp, there we go. And then we're going to plug the color ramp into the surface of the material output. And then we're going to plug the diffuse into the shader to RGB, like this. So it should be like this chain of command, like that. So we're all set up now. We can go ahead and, and customize this a little bit, which is nice. I'm going to grab the linear box here, and I'm going to change that to constant. And then I'm going to drag this little white thing backwards a little bit. Um, and then we're going to hit this little plus button. Add in a new color, right there, a little plus button. I'm going to change this from black to uh, a, a middle kind of ground shade of blue. So not something too bright, not something too dark, just something about right there, I guess. I'm going to go for a bluish water in this. Um, and we're going to grab that white color, we're going to change that to like a, a lightish blue color like that. Something kind of brightish, you know. And then this darkest color, we're going to change that uh, not to black, but to a darkish blue, something like that. And this is gonna, we're going to change this in a second here. I just want to get that down for now, and we'll just take a look at it later on. Now, you don't see anything happening because we need to actually set up our ocean right now. So it's not really oceanified. I'm going to close this because we don't need to use that right now. We'll open that up later again. Um, overlays back on. I'm going to tab with our plane selected and right-click my screen and hit subdivide. Once, twice, three, four, five times maybe. I think that's good. Uh, then we're going to go to the modifier tab. Hit tab to go back out of this, by the way. Tab to go back out of that. Uh, then add modifier. And we're going to go down to the wave modifier. <gasps> oh, yes. You know it was You knew it was, You knew it was going to happen. Now, when we do this, you can see it's going to instantly just puff this bad boy up, which is nice. That's what we need. Um, and I'm going to do a couple of things here. We're going to change the speed. I'm going to hit play. Actually, down here first. Uh, start from the zero, because, yeah. Uh, play. And now you can see it's doing a little wave thing. I have a video specifically about this, um, but uh, but yeah, we're not going to look at that right now. We're not going to do all that right now. I'm going to change the speed way down to maybe like 0.07, and I'm going to turn the height way down as well. Maybe make sure it's not a negative value. So pr approximately 0 0.085 looks good to me. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and turn maybe the width up just a little bit. It's a little tiny bit. Maybe 1.6, and the narrowness we can also turn up a little tiny bit. Uh, maybe 1.4, maybe, I think that looks pretty good. Um, and now we can go ahead and do some other cool stuff. So I can turn the position to some other direction, so we have like waves like that, maybe. 
I don't know. You get some cool waves like that. Looks pretty sweet. It's pretty swell. Ha <laughs> ha, it's funny. Um, and we can also turn the offset, you know, uh, to a specific value, to a negative value, rather, sorry. So it starts, like, instantly. Um, but yeah, so you probably don't want to do that if you want it to cycle, which is why cyclic is on. Um, I'm going to take our lamp and double tap R and just rotate it a little bit. You can see how we have some of that shader working, but it'll, it'll work even better in a second here. So we're just going to rotate that double tap R to a nice position just for the time being, and we'll just leave it there for now. Now, with our plane, I'm going to subdivide this even more because five is not enough. So right click, subdivide, right click, subdivide. That might be too much, but it's fine. Uh, I think that's probably fine. Uh, now, the next step, we need to go ahead and downsize our wave modifier, and we're going to add a new modifier, and this modifier is going to be, you guessed it, where it be at, where it be at, a uh, displace right there. We're going to hit new on the texture, and then we're going to go to the texture tab here, and drop this down, grab that texture that we have right there, and change this from image or movie to clouds. Now you can see we got some good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to go to the modifiers tab and change the strength way down to like, oh uh, man, like maybe point, point one ish point zero five, yeah, point zero five is probably better for that. Um, in our wave modifier, we are having some issues. I don't want that narrow on like that. So the narrow and the width can go down. Um, so we have. Or the width can go up a little bit, actually. The width can go up and the narrow can go down. So we have the width on, let's just do an even 2. And then the the narrow on 0.5. Or maybe, yeah, 0.5 is fine. So on 0.5. All right, cool. So we got an even value now. Now, with our lamp, I wanted to hit RX and kind of just do something like this. Now, you can see we had a little, like, choppy pixeliness. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Object and turn Shade Smooth on. Now, you can see we got an, a much better thing going on here now. Uh, now we need to, uh, let, me, let, me, let me rotate this lamp a little bit more, so RX on that lamp just a little bit. Now you see we're having a little bit easier of a time coming up with some cool looking stuff. Um, so now, I'm going to grab our plane again, and go back to our shader editor. And then we're kind of just going to play around with these colors, because these colors are off right now. So I'm going to pull that whitish color up, we're going to pull the colors around here. We can even add new colors, so I kind of want to brighten this up a little bit because it's kind of dark for the secondary color uh, we'll do something like that and then the third color we'll hit a plus and then we'll change it to something like this maybe yeah looks good I like that looks pretty cool I guess yeah sure sweet I like that I like it super simple little thing here I love this so much um, and we can even do with another color here with white we can make this one solid white. Um, pull that all the way up. And just so we have a little bit of highlights there. We hit pause on one of these higher areas here. So we have a little bit of white highlights there. Um, now this color is messed up. Why that? Why that be messed up? Why that be messed up? Why? Why you do this? Why you do this? All right. We're going to pull that like that. Maybe like this. Loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. All right. Cool. Copyright strike right there. Guys. 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 I shouldn't have done that. Anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and just uh, leave it like this. I like the way this looks. Um, pretty sweet stuff. And if you want to, you can always change the colors around here. Get a little bit more of that darker color in there. That's too dark, maybe. But yeah, so that's going to be it for today's tutorial, pretty much. Uh, nice animation without even animating anything. And you can take this even further, if you want, by going ahead and animating the... Um, the strength of the texture node here. So if I go ahead and I put on the zero frame, I hit I to to, to put in a keyframe right there. Hover our cursor over top of that. Then go to the last frame and this button right here, and then change that to uh, the same thing. Hit I right there, and then go somewhere in the middle, like 125, and then hit just uh, hit maybe negative negative no zero. Eh, maybe maybe uh, point negative point one and then hover our cursor hit I play it you can see we have a little bit of uh, texture animation there which is nice now so it kind of it kind of steadies off gets kind of crazy for a second and then goes right back the same way that it was before so that is pretty much it for this nice little ocean uh, ocean kind of cartoon effect here which is pretty cool I used this in a video that I recently did hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it I will see you in the next one but until then bye bye Thank you.